spring, an amazing and largely unknown migration takes place in Lower Columbia River tributaries, including Bear Creek and Clasop County, Oregon. As water temperatures warm into the mid-50s to low 60s, thousands of native minnows called peamouth migrate from the Columbia River to spawn in shallow tributary streams and rivers. Spawning runs of this brilliantly colored fish make for an impressive natural occurrence, as adults populate their spawning streams in overwhelming abundance. Peamouths reach sexual maturity at three to four years old, with adults typically returning to spawn at a length of five to eight inches. However, adults may reach lengths of one foot or more. Spawning usually occurs over clean gravels, with females spawning many times with many different males. Fecundity is a function of body size, with larger females producing up to 20,000 eggs or more. These eggs adhere to gravels and cobbles before hatching within several weeks. After spawning, adults return to the Columbia River, and juveniles feed on crustaceans and insects as they grow and then outmigrate from spawning streams. Males rarely live for more than eight years, However, females can live to at least 19 years old as documented in British Columbia. The incredible abundance of peamouths returning to Bear Creek annually creates challenges for the Chum Salmon Reintroduction Project. During spring, the project deploys and operates a rotary screw trap to monitor the outmigration and production of Chum Salmon Fry and other juvenile salmonids in the watershed. Large peamouth migrations starting in May overlap with peak outmigration of coho and steelhead smolts and can interfere with normal daily trap operations. And since most peamouth migratory behavior in the creek occurs at night, normal morning trap checks can be insufficient to remove fish prior to exceeding holding capacity in the trap. Capacity was exceeded multiple times in 2018 and required staff to suspend trap operations prematurely in mid-May. As peamouth catch increased in 2019, nightly checks were initiated as early as 4.30 a.m. and then at midnight as a protective measure. However, we still found overcrowding could occur prior to these hours. As a result, in 2019, the Chum Project began overnight monitoring at Bear Creek, with one staff member manning the trap all night. This strategy was employed to gain more information on daily and hourly peamouth migrations and to evaluate the effectiveness of using overnight monitoring as a way to avoid overcrowding mortalities. Overnight monitoring was employed for nearly two weeks, beginning on May 12th and extending to May 25th. Staff processed fish hourly, allowing peamouth catch to be monitored throughout the night as fish were removed and released downstream of the trap. So what did we find out? Well, let's just say overnight monitoring was a generally successful method to keep the live box from getting too crowded, but those peamouth also kept us guessing. On six nights, peamouth catch was modest and would not have required overnight monitoring. And overnight monitoring was also not needed on two additional nights, despite significantly higher catch. So if you think we wasted a good night's sleep on those eight nights, you might be correct. However, those nights were seemingly no different from the remaining five nights when overnight monitoring was an absolute necessity. This includes the nights of May 13th and 14th when over 6,000 and then nearly 8,000 fish entered the trap, far exceeding a maximum capacity of around 1,500 fish. And these total counts do not include several periods when the trap had to be stopped due to the inability of removing peamouth quick enough from the trap to safely separate salmonids. Hourly catch was also variable over the two weeks, with the highest catch on any given night including all hours except the lighter periods of dawn and dusk. This includes the big night on May 15th, when over 2,000 peamouth entered the trap in one half hour period between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. at night. Without staff monitoring the trap that night, fish entering the trap would have exceeded capacity by around 11 p.m. So what are some take-home lessons from our two weeks monitoring the trap on Bear Creek after dark? First, there appears to be no easy way to predict when peamouth will show up in large abundance on a nightly or even hourly time frame. For instance, nightly catch dropped from nearly 8,000 fish to less than 200 fish from May 14th to May 15th and then catch jumped from 12 fish to nearly 2,000 fish from May 21st to May 22nd. Secondly, 
we now know that an empty trap can quickly fill to capacity with P-mouth in as little as one half hour or less. And this mass migration can happen at any hour of the night. And lastly and most importantly, we learned that overnight monitoring can be a successful strategy to keep the trap fishing during the P-mouth spawning run. Actually, overnight monitoring is the only foolproof strategy to minimize overcrowding risk during this eventful and unpredictable migration. Peamouth may not be considered one of the Pacific Northwest's glamorous fish species. In fact, due to the species' modest size and increased activity at night, their incredible spawning run is largely unseen and underappreciated in comparison to the more prized and documented migrations of Pacific salmon and steelhead. However, at a time when many native species like salmon and steelhead are in decline and exist at a fraction of historical abundance, the brilliantly colored native peamouth still returns annually to waters like Bear Creek in large numbers. To me, this deserves appreciation and should be celebrated. Despite the challenges the Chum Project faces annually during the peamouth spawning run, including adjusted work schedules and lost sleep, we will continue to welcome and admire this beautiful and amazing native minnow during their impressive spawning migration. Besides, there will be plenty of time for sleep after the trap is removed in June.